What's going on everyone? I have a brand new independent film review for you guys today and today I'm discussing The Tomorrow Man. If you guys are new here, well make sure to hit that like and subscribe button where you get tons of early movie reviews and geeky content over on this channel. Plus you guys can also go over to Sandwich on Films on how to see films early. Tomorrow Man stars John Lithgow as a man who just happens to be preparing for a disaster that might never come. A lot of people like to call these people doomsday preppers. Along the way as he's doing this, Blythe Danner plays a lady named Ronnie who happens to kind of have her own little secret in a way and they kind of start to have a little bit sparks of love within there. It comes to certain films like this, I get a little bit more excited for these due to the fact that independent films, they always have my heart. I'm always trying to be their first day to support each and every one that I can because I think these films are always very creative and passionate. Plus, you have Noble Drones who's directing this film. If you guys don't know who that is, they directed American Psycho, which is one of my personal favorite films of all time. Just the basic concept of The Tomorrow Man, the second that this film sets up what it's going to be, because I went in this film not knowing the trailer, not seeing the synopsis, just walking right in. And the film really established itself what it's going to be in this doomsday prepping land that it is. And it's very unique. I like where they were taking the story and I actually like a lot of the subtleties that they have within it. It's when you have John Lithgow in a role. I mean, Lithgow is one of the best top-notch actors to get in any sort of film and he's phenomenal in here. I thought he was excellent and I really liked his performance and his subtle nuances and emotions that he carried within just facial expressions that he has in here. It's when you go over to Blythe Danners who plays Ronnie in here, the love interest. She's great as well. She has one monologue in here that takes place in a hospital that really almost riveted me to tears hears with how well she was in it. Chemistry and banter with one another is unique and special. It makes you really feel like you're a fly on the wall while watching their relationship develop. There's something about this movie that I can't put a pin in it that I just wasn't sucked into the story. I wasn't sucked into the situation. I didn't feel like I was very much elevated. I, I felt like this unique concept while having subtle messages and different parallels to one another within the relationship and I subtly liked those messages. I just again was never really sucked into what's going on and I never was like man this is an amazing film. Another thing that actually elevates this film to another level of not just making it good is the technical aspects of it of the cinematography. I think the cinematography for this film is some of the best that I've actually seen this year and actually is one of the main reasons that I loved the technical aspects of the film. I think the cinematography was top notch the best thing about the movie. There were multiple moments where I was like you could literally frame that on a wall and be blown out of proportion of how great it was. I did think the film was a little too long, I'm not gonna lie. It was only an hour and 34 minutes and it felt a little bit longer than that. I got a little bit anxious sitting in the theater like, okay, where's this going? And since he is a doomsday prepper, I kind of sat there sitting there going, okay, so is a bomb gonna go off? Are people gonna attack? Are zombies gonna attack? Is this gonna be like a giant twist to the whole thing? I mean, I knew deep down that that's not what was gonna happen within this movie. I wasn't expecting that I didn't need it to happen, but it's kind of just my funny way of saying I was a little bit bored throughout the movie. Not because anyone was giving a bad performance or in general the story was lacking or even the direction or cinematography wasn't good. It just comes out of the point that this film was just not for me. That, that That's just the honest truth. I think technically it was great, I think the performances were great, I think even the direction was great, and even the script was well written, but I just didn't care. And I think a lot of the other subplots and storylines that they have within this film could have actually been touched up a bit. I think there were a couple other relationships in the film that I wish the movie focused on a little bit more. He has a whole family with a son who's married, who also has a daughter, and there's a whole relationship there that I feel like was very missing, and I feel like this is a movie that could have actually developed more with a faster pacing, but also touching on other aspects of the family. I think this is actually quite an interesting film and a lot of the relationships and parallels that again the movie tackles, I just didn't think it did it 100% right. Well, Tomorrow Man didn't work completely for me. I do think there is a niche audience for it out there. I think Bleak or She is very well in getting these independent films unique and different for each and every sort of audience. Lithgow is fantastic in this film. The cinematography is great. The direction is good. It's just... You know, it's a good movie. It's a hard film that I can say to run out to the theaters, but I think if you do catch it and this is kind of your niche audience, I think some people will fall in love with it and others will kind of just fall in the same category that I am. With all that said, I'm going to give The Tomorrow Man a C+. Oh, we got thoughts around this film. Are you guys excited for it? Are you not? Have you even heard about it? Or is this your first time hearing about it? Let me know down below in the comments. Guys, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Check out Sandwich on Films. I'll make sure to see you guys soon. Stay classy.